There's this little thing right here. The director's story. I mean, or I could do inheritance. I'll go, let's, I wasn't expecting the final note to be set during <laughs> Layers of Fear 1. I was expecting it to be a different setting altogether. So let, let's do a different setting altogether. What in God's name is Please the character story? help me. Remember me. Resist her. Forgive me. So if I had to guess, this probably has more to do with Layers of Fear 2, which I have not gotten to yet. So, arguably there's going to be spoilers here. But look, we're in the context of an official canon game. So, let's just presume that spoilers aren't a consideration here, and that however I experience this story in full, is it's my experience of the story. After they fell into debt with the studio, blah blah blah, perhaps the only talented person on the crew proposed that he'll write a script for a new movie that would event finally earn some money. The same move that killed him two months later. His daughter blames the director for his death, saying that he took advantage of her father after his fall from grace. He wrote this movie to help us. He wouldn't want us to abandon it. I'll finish the script, and we'll shoot it together for him. So I'm pretty sure that Layers of Fear 2 involves being... Well, uh, well I could just wonder if it involves being an actor in the movie. But I almost wonder if it actually involves being the writer of the movie, because this is the director. The film's only redeeming quality remains his performance by the actor. Not all of us have forgotten the star of the silent movie era after he left the industry so abruptly. I'm delighted to say his talent still shines, even in such an awful production. When asked why he plays in the director's film, the star told us. He approached me with enthusiasm, saying that he was a fan. I couldn't say no to such passion. Great way to travel. Yeah, I have no idea what to expect. Remember her... Later... Er, uh, that later? I've got a freaking light! Or like let gritter. That's probably an I, not a T. It's probably later or lighter. Losing cop. His razor blade. It was an unpolished draft. He was my father. I know what he wanted to say. So then, in effect, this is my prelude to the sequel. Like, from my perspective, this is a prelude. Can't go through there. Portrait of the Clouds. Wondrous Voyage. Trial of a Martyr. Fool Sherrod. What in 
God's name was that noise? I can zoom in. Could I do that in the other one? I don't think I could. The plot is different. The plot makes sense. It didn't before, and you knew about it. I can crouch. Since. She knew what he was doing. She wanted this movie to be a warning. A warning against demons and monsters. It's absurd. I don't want him to be remembered as a maniac. You had to know he was ill, and you enabled him, encouraged his delusions. I trusted his vision. You trusted his madness. Animate mannequin. Fair enough. Listen, you know I am good at this. We can make a good movie. Or we can smear my father's name making the unfinished draft that he wrote in a moment of weakness. here now. Okay, go underneath you. What am I doing? Can't go back, can I? I can. It is your choice. Oh. You're the director, after all. Scene 13. Interior basement. So this room with a pentagram drawn on the floor. Leader is kneeling, sacrifice approaches in the middle of the circle. Blood, blood. Michael disappears. Too soft. We need shock. We need a hook. We need to convey the danger of the situation. Go to the written pentagram called switch. Will leader on his knees. After sacrifice disappears. Leader is stabbed by a mysterious shadow figure and dies. Death shaped his life over and over and over again.
Oh, I see. I can animate those guys. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter what they think. Just making movies. It's magic. It's new. It's world changing. set. The fuck was that? I heard they closed the case. Unfortunate accident, they say. Um, no, there's something more going on here. We all feel it. They argued again, and then again when I asked what we were supposed to do. Okay, time to get to work. Rolling, sound, action. I don't feel it. 
what's what's there to feel? with no hmm. it might be it might make me go back and look for a prop elsewhere. be surprising. Not the kind of thing that this game normally does. I'll take a little look. I didn't see anything to grab. that the the door at the other end of the set and I'm going backwards and I don't really need to I'm just surprised that I'm allowed to go this far back all right let's let's, let's go back to the set really obvious, is it? costumes for retakes tomorrow. Again? I don't know what to tell you. Do you want this I film want to it be good? to be done. I can open this. Okay. Room is that way? I don't actually know what I picked up. I 
can't imagine going there again. I, I don't remember being there. Ever. Nobody does. I mean, we must have gone there, but my mind just goes blank when I think about it. What the hell are you talking about? What's that that way? Our dream is this way. God, you're creepy, aren't you? person should be steady, unflinching, otherwise they end up as a prop for others to use. I, I, don't, I don't know, man. I mean, I've, I, I think that a prop is pretty steady and unflinching, by definition. Creepy guy's gone. Hello again. Yep. I'm back to the old set. Larger than life. Don't worry about it. I thought this was leading me to the old set. But I guess I've got to go backtrack the other way. There we go. There goes the rat. I'm good. Not interested in the rat. Right, so if do I not place a prop somewhere or do I have to sit down first? For reshooting. I want to try something different. Rolling sound action. I think this is better than the original. We're ready. Get the reel. And again. Get rid of that. 
Rolling. Sound. Action. See, as it was actually written the first time. I think we're good. I prepared the reel. I've got to decide if... Like from, just from what I'm loosely gathering from the plot, I've got to decide if I want to go with what was originally written or what was redone. And... My gut tells me to go with what was originally written. We're done for the day. Please return the reels to the production office. Right, is that... Uh, is that back here? Graveyard. I like this because it's like that's the in inside of a coffin but I'm watching it on this I see you it's very much about the magic of filmmaking as a actual device production office he tried to talk about ghosts that haunted him oh god there's only four more of them I'm gonna go have another cigarette. So, I'll just I figure like if it's gonna be four more of these, I may as well go have a cigarette now. So yeah.
somewhat comfortable. Okay. All right. Let's do this. You said you would finish the script, not rewrite it. I didn't realize how bad it was. Madman's ramblings, no plot, just occult gibberish. And you encouraged it. Yeah, I get that feeling. But don't get me started on the subject of bad. You know we need this movie to be great. I don't intend to end my career now. No. We need shock, blood, gore. Something people will remember for years. But of course, if you want to stick with his version, go ahead. You're the director after all. We need enemy chase sequences. We need a light mechanic that'll let you fight off the monsters. My daughter believes that I lost my mind when I abandoned acting. I'm sure she's not alone in that. But, but it's not true, my friend. <laughs> my mind got clearer than ever. Our sources on the set told us on the day he died, his son double called him sick. Director Furious got into an argument with the star's daughter, the worst so far. Regularly. Okay. And incidentally, I realized that I've been very quiet during this whole this whole director story. And that's not because I needed a cigarette, that's not because I'm getting tired or anything. Frankly, I'm fascinated. I'm taking in a lot of information. She's destructive. I won't have the moon falling apart because of one You're book. too afraid of destruction. What? Don't try to preserve everything. Destruction is part of life. Accept it. Revel in it. I mean, that's kind of a risky philosophy to have when you're working on a big project like a film. Telling you, what we're making isn't bad enough. Her? Hush. Thing during the killer, but just slowly. She was in the missus. I think what I read to start with the killer is actually dangerous. Where did appear? Appear the machete. Throws and hits the cultist back. Table. 
Jesus. The shock, terror, and pain. He wanted to throw it all out. Yeah, to a degree. Because from, from what it sounds like, the original story still has shock, terror, and pain. Just that the... The viewer wasn't forced to feel it so vividly. Hey, I know how to fix it. It'll be okay. Check the production office. Locked. Okay. Fair enough. Set. Um. Music is ratcheting up the tension. New set. And maybe I'm making a mistake. Maybe I should just trust the actor's daughter. Maybe. But I still want to go with my gut. She's at it again. Who sits there? Cut off the things that are unnecessary. Yeah, the machete's unnecessary. I'll look around first. No, it was right there. Oh, we're going to need that pistol. That's how the original script went. And my gut says to go with that. Oh, shit, shit, shit! It's okay, it's okay. Here, let me bandage it. What if it was rabid? Can we see more threats? But we're totally gonna be seeing more threats. I mean, we're in safe mode, so it doesn't matter.
careful. We don't want any more accidents. Back's gonna be the scary part, I presume. What's down here? Nothing. Literally nothing. Okay, guys, I have the pistol. I'll just shoot this thing. Focus, people. Yeah, the gun. I have another idea. Um, I want... What if we do it another way? Alright, let's try this. Rolling. Sound. Action. Have it, people. Huh. We're ready. Get the reel. Okay, people, on to the next scene. I was wondering what the hell the point was of switching the chair around. Well, I guess that if the chair was still there, then the killer would have probably gotten him. I <laughs> like those, the old paintings here. On to the next scene. Where do probably go probably go back the way I came. Probably. Dig the atmosphere in this. It's a lot less scary, <laughs> but I mean, I'm not going to complain about that. It d it doesn't feel like it's botching its scariness. It just feels like it's going for something that's more cerebral. Huh. office. What the hell's down here? Nothing. Right, this is where I got the machete from. Okay, I guess I've got to go the other way. Like, in, in my defense, it's not terribly obvious where to go.
Ooh. I like that. Hey, how you doing? Storage room. Gonna scratch my ear. Hang on. Uh, okay. Thanks, man. I want to take my time before I make a masterpiece. But yeah, I do have something in mind. set now yes I do cost name is that noise Take a look at the script again <coughs> to remind myself what I'm looking for here. Why well, I can't? Okay, well, I see there's a saw and a hammer. Get ready, everyone. You don't have to get ready yet. Hammer. Okay. So I want to find the hammer. I came from, isn't it? Yes. That door is not. Wait. At least I think this... This feels very similar to where I just was. Nope, this is new. Cool. What was that? Jesus. The most important thing in art. Ha! <laughs> Stubbornness. Yeah, I'm starting to come around to that opinion. Nothing that way. So people keep dying on this set. Anything going on in here? Or that. I guess they're pieces of... Pieces of something. And that's it. Oh, I saw something. Cool. Oh, Jesus. Hi there. Screeching arsonists. Echoing screams. It's top of nothing. I won't go down easy. Okay. Yeah, that was cool. 
Ow. <laughs> I'm okay. Just trips. I want their money back. The things she broke weren't cheap. What were you thinking employing her? You knew she was trouble since the day she came to the set to reunite with her father. I was there. I remember the mayhem. Sure, your films aren't as ambitious as a person's early productions, but at least he has a job. Which is more than she had going for herself at the time. Anyway, you are now in a lot of debt, and you have her to thank for it. I could go do the other stuff. I imagine I've still got to find a machete. You're just seeing things. Get some rest. I'm sure it was nothing. Rest? I haven't rested since we started shooting. I don't sleep. I don't eat. There were rats in my kitchen. I mean, look, I don't actually have to go and do this, do I? Because I've got the hammer, which is all that I want. But, like, I kind of want to experience as much as I can. It's not about the effect. It's about the process. Whatever that means. What? Okay, well, whatever, I'm okay. I don't want the machete. I just wanted to grab it. Come on. Let's go do this. Chandelier. Table. Sorry, let me look at this again. fall from the ladder. I have another idea. I just take the hammer wherever it is. You don't want the machete, the saw. We're ready. Not quite. Um, what, what did I just do? Hammer. Right. Okay. Alright, try it. Rolling. Sound. Action. We made it the way it's written. We're ready. Get the reel. I mean, sure, like, like it doesn't need to be that flashy. That's a wrap up for today. Remember about returning the reels to the production office. Production office, right. That's blocked off now. This is this way. <laughs> Too 
love how the music stops like that. Right, which way is the production office? Probably this way. Oh god. It's startling. More dead people. together. I learned a lot about her. And I... I'm... I think she knows that. And she's not happy. Right. This is now three reels done out of five. So the structure is not quite how I expected it to be. In the end, there was only terror. Alright, there's two more, which might go all in one chapter, or might be split up among two chapters. Let's find out together. It's shocking. It's grotesque. The form swallows up the essence. <laughs> Do you really think this is what he wanted to say? All this blood and gore just to shock? He didn't aim for shock. He aimed for a warning. Hey there. <laughs> My father believed that there are monsters in this world. There is no monster in this film. There are only people. Sacrifice. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I can't do this anymore. You've been wonderful to work with. Sure, we never made anything prominent, but we had a good time, and the work sustained us. I wanted to see this through with you. Alas, I can't stop thinking about the, the, the last moments. How a series of inconsequential events. Stunt double getting sick. You and her arguing again. How it all led to his death. How small things keep happening. How there are more and more rats in this set, despite everything we do. How I keep having nightmares. I'll be frank with you. I'm afraid. I hope we meet again. I hope we'll make another movie together. But for now, I need to leave. She knows. She sees you. She sees my daughter. God help us. Yeah, we're talking about that rat muse. The one that's haunting the writer. The one that presumably haunted the painter. She doesn't want it to be made. She turned her eyes on us. All of her eyes. What are you talking about? Locked. Okay.
locked. Don't ask. You cannot comprehend her, the queen being the muse. She will use all her power to stop us, but we cannot. This we have to see through. sometimes. Scratch myself, okay. It's two choices of where to go. Don't turn your mind oh towards God. her, lest you lose it. Feel her. It's in your body, in your gut. The primal horror, fear of the animal that is being hunted by a god. Feel the things we have to say. Okay. I dig it. The fear of the unknown, of something bigger, incomprehensible. I think I know what you were warning us about, but we can do better. But all our attempts to change it are still... Like... The Queen didn't want the the writer to to complete the script and to finish the movie. No, oh, we're upside down. No, we're not. Yes, we are. So, like, changing it is still just not doing it. Back here now. Up oh, two more. Cool. We'll finish it up this chapter. Seen one plus square root of five divided by two. Hold this to the table. An intense conversation cannot hear. Seem to plant killer's demise. Suspense. I'm talking sure there has to be mystery. Cage with rats. Squeaking and agitated, they foreshadow the unexpected event. That is. There's nothing wrong with the original. The original site. It's only different from the one in scene 13. <laughs> scene 5. Killer tries to kill himself, summoning the ultimate evil. The cultist attack overpowered and stop him. Underwhelming. Setting up the ultimate evil throughout the movie means to show it. Got effects. Summoning evil succeed in killing himself. It works through well, special effects can here should be magnificent. <coughs> I think the point is we don't want to summon this <sighs> we don't want to show the evil. That would just be setting her free and spreading her to many more people. I presume. What the hell are you guys doing? Arguing. Screening room. What's going on today? We will finish it. You're damn right we will. Alright, so the new set.
Hey there. Hey there. <laughs> I do like that. What? What happened? You've been sleepwalking again. You try to get to the basement set. Focus, people. All right, so for this one, just a conversation. There's nothing else that we need. I guess we can find out. Do it as written. Rolling. Sound. Action. my gut on this. And when he says don't do this, does he mean don't let her lead you or does he mean don't do d don't do the film as I wrote it? Basement set. Objects to grab. Jesus. Right, so I can't go that way, I've got to go this way. Recharge my batteries. In the end, art becomes life. 
forward and something else. Okay, time to get to work. Oh, we got to kill himself. Never stop him. He's still pointing me up here. The fuck is that? as hell. I mean, like, it would be nice to have the option, you know, to find the other object. I'm not going to use it, but it'd be cool to see it. Is this it? To see the ocean in a bowl of water, to understand that every part of the universe is equally vast and uncaring. This is our lot. I mean, look, I get what you're going for here, but, like, while it's true that the universe is uncaring, that also doesn't mean that it's, like, anti caring. It neither likes nor dislikes us. There is no inherent hate in the universe. Like, that's an inevitable consequence or logical corollary to the idea that there is no inherent love in the universe. I don't know. I don't know. These artifacts summon evil. Okay, so don't put the artifacts. All right. Roll. Roll it. Rolling. Sound. Action. This is how he imagined it. I prepared the reel. We got it. Now is she going to let me return to the production office without it without a fright? Together to watch their creation. I feel like I'm playing the movies. You know, that PC game where you make movies. Well, it's more like <laughs> it's like The Sims. You make a movie studio, but then you do actually get to make movies, and you can watch them. Sacrifice somebody. And the sacrifice becomes a killer.
Finn. It is what he wanted. Yes. All his obsessions, all this madness, all your stupid ideas. We don't have to do this. And I helped you! Oh, God, I helped you! You know what? You're right. We don't have to do this. What would you have me do? Betray him? I know you gave it everything you had. I know why you do this. It's just... I can't. It's not for me. Don't contact me ever again, please. Jeez. All right. I I think I enjoyed that quite a bit. Certainly memorable. <laughs> 